So these are a couple of used trolling motor armatures. You can see here on these commutators, there's quite a bit of buildup. And so for comparison, I have a couple of new armatures here so that you can see the difference. Over time, your commutator can get a buildup on it that will cause a bad connection between the brushes. This can cause your motor to run intermittently or have low power. In this video, we're gonna be showing you how to clean the commutator on your trolling motor armature so that you can get your motor running like new. So to clean an armature, I like to start by cleaning the commutator using a toothbrush and electrical contact cleaner. This will remove any oils, dust, dirt, or any other contaminants that will cause connection issues. Once the armature is cleaned up, next we can resurface the commutator. This will remove any pitting, arc marks, or any remaining dirt and debris. For this, we'll be using 600 grit aluminum oxide sandpaper. While holding the armature in one hand, wrap the sandpaper around the commutator. Apply light pressure to the sandpaper while turning the armature. When sanding the commutator, make sure to fully rotate the armature in one direction. This will ensure that you don't over sand any spots, giving you an uneven connection. If you have access to a drill press or a drill with a large chuck, I recommend doing it this way. This will make it a lot easier to get a smooth and even sanding. After the sanding is done, you can blow away any debris using an air hose. Next, you can clean in between the commutator bars using a plastic scriber. This will remove any buildup that was left from resurfacing. Next, you can give it a final spray with contact cleaner to remove any remaining debris. And once you do that, you are done. Your commutator should look more like this. Here is a before and after of three different sized armatures. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and as always, keep trolling.